It's Wednesday the 13th of October 2021 and welcome to another Timeware Community Podcast. My name's Simon Birchall and with me today we've got a special guest. Zach from Support Team One. Good, good to see you Zach <laughs> and uh, as always some in the background via Teams. Hi you guys, it's Mike. Mike Coop, how's it going? I'm good. Have we had a good week this week? How's it uh, gone Zach? It's- yeah it's been good this week, just normal, steady away. Doing some uh, doing some SLA upgrades. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, doing are we some... doing them remotely or face to face now? We've been we're... doing them remotely at the moment, and it's all been going great. I think we've got some next week that are face to face, haven't we? Yeah. Good. All right. Um, the podcast this week is about timeware and GDPR, and um, I'm going to hand over to you guys to um, maybe Mike. You could give us an explanation about. Yep about about time and gdpr and then zach you can tell us a little bit about how you implement that right over to you mike yep so we introduced the gdpr compliance i think it was a couple of years ago uh and what we've done is we've we ask for the company's rules on gdpr and we build that into the system uh it's fairly simple at the give us an example of one uh so for example after when an, when an employee's uh, marked as a lever uh it deletes all the future absences but on the system that's it so it, it delete future holidays out of there so people don't know when that person's going away when they've left and are there a number of different types of yeah there's there's a number of different uh types of information we can delete such as absence information personnel information attendance information uh, there's also yeah. I'm going to say there's also one for like biometric data as well, anything yeah. like that, and then ESS passwords for the employee self service. Yeah, can get remove that as well. So what what we do as part of the pre installation meeting for your upgrade is we get your GDPR compliance rules, and then the stage the we book in a pre installation meeting and then the SI upgrade and implement the GDPR compliance. So before we move to Zach, we, we the do we um, do we do these as these are integral part of the SLA or do we do them separate as well sometimes? We do them separate on new systems. So when we put in a new system, uh, we'll do it. Uh, but because we've got pretty much everyone's on the higher uh, SLA free the managed service, they yeah. already get the upgrade. So a lot of customers now have got actually the GDPR compliance in place. Yeah. So um, if we move on to Zach, you actually implement these uh, the the uh, GDPR module, don't you? How how yeah. how, does that, how does that work? So when we go to do the SLA upgrade, once we've completed the upgrade in the software, we then ask the customer if they would like to enable the feature, and if so, we'll go through them step by step. What they would like, how this how they would like it to be configured. For example, like Mike was saying. When they want things to be deleted, like future absences, we can set like um, a time frame for how, what they would like that yeah. matches with their system. Yeah. And then, yeah, we'll set that up and we can have it so the system flags to the users okay. when it's ready to delete. And then it's up to them to make that final decision. That's right. So we don't we don't delete anything automatically, do we? That's a, that's a key point. No, it's just an alert on the to-do list of a certain that's, user. Okay. Um, do you think everybody's using this or do you think there are some people out there that haven't got this in place yet? I think there'll still be a few people that have not got it in place. I think the majority will have it in place now. Okay, so the few people that haven't got it in place, if they hear this uh, podcast, yeah. then um, how is this something we can do over a Teams meeting? Yeah, it would be, yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Are there any other points on the GDPR? Any, any? No, people can obviously might have updated the policies since when we first implemented it as well. So okay. they could contact us just to check what they've got in place and if we could update it for them. Okay. So well. who should people contact, Mike, if they need any more information? I'd say support and then we'll manage it. Okay. Do you want to read out the email address? Uh, number? Yep. So the contact Charlotte and the email support at timeware.co.uk and the telephone number is plus four four one seven zero six. Six five eight two two two. Great stuff. Okay. Anything else on the on GDPR? No, that's it for me. Oh, clearance no, the point. Same. Thanks. Thanks for joining us, Zach. Thank you, Mike. Thank Always. you. Good. Bye. Speak Bye. Soon. Bye. Thanks. Bye.